Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Rossi. Today we're going to create a goldfish still life drawing inspired by the work of Henry Matisse. What you'll be needing today is a white piece of paper. There should be one in your art folder labeled fish or goldfish still life that you can use. We're going to need a pencil to draw with and we're going to need something to trace with. I have a skinny and a thick Sharpie today, but you can use any kind of marker, pen, or colored pencil that you have at home to trace your picture. Today we're creating a still life drawing that is a drawing of an arrangement of objects. We looked at Henry Matisse's goldfish still life painting and we saw his big goldfish bowl in the center and then there were some leaves and other repeating shapes and patterns in the background. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to start with my pencil. I'm holding my paper vertically so it is tallest going up and down. And right in the center of my page, I'm going to start by drawing our goldfish bowl. I'm going to make my goldfish bowl flat along the top. So I'm going to start by drawing a horizontal line across the top of my page, leaving space on both ends. I am going to draw two diagonal lines coming down and in towards the center from both of those points. And then I'm going to make my goldfish bowl nice and big and round all the way around the bottom just like that. Now that I have my bowl in place, I can start to add details inside my goldfish bowl and around the background. I'm going to start by just drawing the table that my bowl is sitting on. So from the edge of my bowl, I'm going to do a horizontal line that connects to the edge of my page. I'm going to jump over my bowl to the other side and do that same thing with a horizontal line connecting the edge of my bowl to the edge of my page. Now we know above this line is going to be the wall or the background, and below this line is going to be our table. Now I'm going to start to draw inside my bowl. The first thing I'm going to do is from these top corners, so I'm going to make a big curvy line that comes down to make our bowl look a little bit more three-dimensional. So that would be the top of our goldfish bowl that you'd be able to kind of see into a little bit. I'm going to put a nice big goldfish in the center of my bowl. You can decide if you want to do any other fish along with your goldfish. Maybe you want more than one. Maybe you want some other special kinds of fish. But I'm going to start with my goldfish right in the center of my bowl. There's a paper on my canvas page that shows you all the different steps to draw our goldfish. And I'm going to do those right now. I'm going to start with a curved line. That's going to be the head of my goldfish. I can add a little eyeball. And I can add some of its gills. I'm going to curve this line up and around the top. And now up here I can add a nice big fin. I'm going to give them a little mouth. And I can add a fin along the bottom by just doing a straight line under the gill and then a curvy line scooping down. There I can connect the rest of his body and he's going to have a nice big fin around the back. I'm going to curve the body up toward the back together and then it's going to transform into our back fins. Where I'm going to give my goldfish a nice big tail. And now I can add some extra lines and details inside my goldfish. I like to add some lines along the fins. If you want to add little scales along the body, you can do that too for some texture. And you can just keep drawing and changing over it until it looks like something you like. I think I want to make my back fin a little bit larger. There we go. And that is my goldfish in my bowl all finished. I'm going to do a wavy line at the top to show where the water is. And now I can also add some decorations along the bottom. Like I said before, if you want to add other different kinds of fish, you can make yours smaller and fit other kinds of fish inside your bowl. I think I'm going to add some decorations and little details along the bottom. I'm going to add some rocks. We want our picture to be nice and detailed. If you have a fish at home, you can draw your own pet fish and what their tank looks like. It's always great to draw from real life by looking at things that we actually see and turning those into art. I think I'm also going to draw a little treasure chest inside my goldfish tank so you can draw any kinds of little 
decorations and details you want to add. So I added my little treasure chest and I added some vines and leaves that are inside my goldfish tank. I'm going to draw some little circles coming up from his mouth to make little bubbles. And then the inside of my goldfish bowl is all finished. Like I said, you can add any kinds of decorations or details you'd like in there. If you're a big fan of SpongeBob, you can draw SpongeBob's house and even SpongeBob and Squidward down at the bottom of your tank if you'd like. Whatever kind of decorations you want to include in your fishbowl will be great. When we looked at Henry Matisse's paintings, we also saw that window that also could have been a picture frame. So we're going to put one of those in our background here. I'm going to do that by drawing a big rectangle coming from my corner of my page. So just two lines. And then to make it look like a window and also a picture frame, I'm going to repeat that shape, but a little smaller on the inside. And I'm going to connect those two corners together. So you can decide if you want yours to be a window or a picture frame based on what you draw on the inside. I want mine to be like our artists. So I'm going to draw a funky little landscape that could be a window or it could be a picture of a landscape. So I'm going to draw some hills. I have the sun and clouds in the sky, and I'm going to add a wiggly, funky looking tree. There we go. And when we looked at Henry Matisse's work, we talked about his patterns, his shapes, and how he was repeating the same shapes to create these different kinds of designs and patterns. So now with the rest of our background, we have our wall up in the top, and we have our table below this line. So you can decide what kind of pattern you would like to do for your table and a different pattern you'd like to do for your wall. On my table, I'm going to do a big striped pattern. So I'm going to do a bunch of vertical and horizontal lines. Now you can create your own pattern using different shapes and lines that are repeating and make your picture totally unique. And then I am just going to do some horizontal lines from left to right to crisscross and make my design. And I'm going to go back in and add double lines here and there. And now in my background of my wall, I can do the same pattern that I did in my tablecloth because we saw that Henry Matisse did the same pattern in both, or I can come up with something different. I think I want something a little different. I'm going to draw some flowers up in my wallpaper section. So I'm going to repeat some wiggly lines and create a flower background for my wallpaper. is my goldfish bowl still life drawing all finished. Now that I'm done drawing in my pencil, I'm going to take my Sharpies and I'm just going to trace over all of my pencil lines. I'm going to switch between my thick and my thin Sharpie, depending on if my details are large or small. And then once I'm done, I'm going to use my eraser to erase any pencil lines I can still see. We're not going to color our picture in today. We will color it next week. So I'm just going to go in quickly with my marker and trace it all up.
And that is my still life drawing all finished. Next week we will be adding color to our picture so you can place it in your art folder once you're finished tracing. Since we're going to finish our projects next week, you do not need to submit anything this week. Save your project in your art folder and we will submit it next time. Take your time when drawing your still life so you can add a lot of nice details and it can be the best work that you can make it. Try your best to have fun and get creative. I'll see you soon. Bye!